All right, come on, Dan. This person says uh, it's on the subject of women preachers. Mm, again, all right. <laughs> Why do you claim to be so against this? Yes, in a marriage, God is the head. Man is the head of the home, this person right. says. But, God, but did not God call Deborah in the Old Testament to fight and kill? Didn't all right, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> who did she preach to? That's right. Writing me about fighting and killing and writing me about preaching. What's up? That's two different things. Amen. Who did she preach to? That's, That's right. right. Come on. Did he not tell uh, Mary to go and tell the disciples? And what of the prophets, prophetess in the Bible? Yes. Do not they speak for God? What is the difference in speaking for God and preaching? Big it's, difference. Amen. It's Big not difference. the message used in preaching also speaking for God. Yes, but there's more than one way, than one way. to speak for God. Yeah, that's right. Huh? That's yeah, right. Excellent. Give it to a woman to prophesy. Prophecy mm -hmm. is the foretelling of the event that's going to come. Mm -hmm. Anna was a prophetess. Mm -hmm. God may move on a woman to prophesy. It's going to be an earthquake or destruction here in America in 10 days. That's, that's right. right. She's speaking for God. That's right. That's right. Is she preaching? No. no. Preaching your God calling, God sent, mm -hmm. and your God anointed to dissect the scriptures and explain right. the Good. scriptures. In fact, you're a scriptural interpreter. That's, that's right. right. Good example. Mm -hmm. Let me show you preaching as a scriptural interpreter. Mm -hmm. Give me Joel 2.28, yep. and then give me the second chapter book of Acts Wonderful. of the Apostles. Wonderful. Amen. Excellent. Sir. Follow me now. Amen. I want to show Joel you preaching <laughs> as a scriptural interpreter. Yeah. First, ahead, let's brother. get the prophet who prophesied. Joel chapter 2 and at verse 28. Listen. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Yes. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. This is the scripture that you folks go to and say, with God call women to preach, you old liar. Mm -hmm. You said your sons and daughters going to prophesy. Mm -hmm. What you mean? They're going to foretell events that's going to come. That's right. Real quick. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall also see visions. What else? And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out of my spirit. All right. It shall come to pass. Shall come to pass. He's going to plow the spirit upon all flesh. That's right. Now, let's see where it came to pass. Acts right. chapter 2 and at verse 16. I'm going to show you preaching. God called, God anointed, God sent apostle interpreting the scriptures. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 16. Real quick. But this is that. Uh-oh. You better go up to verse 15. At, at verse 14. All right. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them. At what? Ye men of Judea and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. Uh -huh. For these are not drunken as ye suppose. You see, when they were filled with the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost, right. the public thought they was drunk off of some yes, new wine. That's, That's right. right. But the apostle Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, sent from heaven, mm -hmm. he expounded by God's permission and told them, these are not drunk. As you suppose. Like you think. Seeing mm -hmm. it is but the third hour of the day. Yes. But this is that. Glory to God. This is that. Which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Now you're going to quote the prophet. And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God. And what? I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. You see, he said, this is that that Joel was talking about. Now yeah. he's breaking down right. and interpreting what the prophet means. That's, That's right. right. He's telling you, no, these men are not drunk. These folk are not drunk. This is what Joel was making reference to. This is that this which is spoken that. of by the prophet Peter was Joel. Preaching here. Preaching. That's right. Peter was preaching with the Holy Ghost sent down for him. That's right. That's right. Not only was he preaching. He was interpreting and explaining and breaking down exactly what the prophecy meant that That's came right. out of the mouth of Joel. But right. this is that. And what it is. Which was spoken by the prophet Joel. What was it? And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God. And? I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And? And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your old men shall see vision at visions and your old and young your old men. men and your young men shall see visions. Shall see visions. And your old, old men, men shall, shall see dreams. Shall dream dreams. Now, this is what the prophet uh, spoke, and this is what the apostle Peter broke down. That's right. Now, you don't have nowhere in the word of God. Nowhere. Nowhere. Yes, Jesus arose from the dead, <laughs> told Mary, yeah. tell my disciples, meet me in Galilee. Mm -hmm. I have arrived in town in many places, mm -hmm. and my secretaries in some areas of the world have informed brothers. Mm -hmm. Pastor Jennings wants you to meet him church such and such a time for a business meeting. That's right. They didn't go there hooping and hollering, trying to interpret the scriptures. No, <laughs> That's no. right. No. That's if right. I arrived in town and told my wife, listen, tell the brothers to meet me uh, at the church mm -hmm. for a business meeting. Mm -hmm. My wife ain't going to come there preaching and hollering and hooping. No. Oh, my husband said, you better go. <laughs> you better go. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now. Oh, no. 
Quoting scripture. No, no. I would advise all the brothers come together in a group and pray for. That's right. That's right. <laughs> because something obviously has shifted. Now. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, That's you don't right. find nowhere in the scriptures. Nowhere. Where well, the Lord ever called and sent the woman to preach. No. Mm -hmm. Read Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Read Isaiah chapter 9, verses 16. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 30 to verse 35. Read 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 28. Mm -hmm. And you'll find that God never called, never will call, never have called and sent That's the woman right. to preach the gospel. Amen. Amen. All right, come on, Dan. This person says, Greeting, Pastor Jennings. Yes. I listened to your radio broadcast on Sunday, May the 31st, the year 2009. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you some questions. All right. First, if a woman preaches... If women preaching is wrong, why did God allow Deborah to be judge in Israel? And hey. she did prophesy. Okay. Hmm. Judge is all right. He didn't say she preached. No, that's right. Prophesy is simply telling the foretelling an event that's going to come. That's right. Listen, God have never called and sent a woman to yeah. preach. If he did, what is her title? That's right. If you say apostle, you're going to have to find me a female apostle. That's right. That's right. A woman is not a prophet. No. Right. A woman is not a false prophet. No. She only can be a false prophetess. That's right. Prophet belongs to the man. That's right. Which means messenger. That's right. When she prophesy, she's simply foretelling an event that's going to come by God's permission. That's right. But she's not diving into the word of God, using something a thought over the man by breaking down and interpreting and explaining the scriptures. He has given the her the prophesy and let us know what's going to happen. And then she do it according to the scriptures. For the word of God said that the woman have a meek and quiet spirit. So even then, she's not loud and boisterous no, like a man. So Deborah, yes. yes. She can judge. judge. Yes. Really. The woman can prophesy. So uh, well, that's all right. All right, Dan, come on. Second question. In Joel chapter 2. Yes. He declared that yes. God will pour out his spirit on all flesh. That's right. And sons uh -huh. and daughters uh -huh. shall prophesy. Why, help yourself. <laughs> Yes, your sons and daughters were prophesying. Was that talking about women preaching? No, give me Joel 2, 28, and then let's see where it was fulfilled in the second chapter of Acts of the Apostles. Joel chapter 2 and at verse 28. Where, this letter, where did that email come from, does it say? All right, well, I want you to give this to you that always love to use Joel 2, 28 mm -hmm. and fill us though because the spirit will be pulled out upon all flesh. Do you think that means that uh, women will come along and preach? Mm -hmm. Joel 2, 28 was foretelling the coming of the day of Pentecost. Right. And I'm going to show you the scriptures that tell you that. That's right. All right, son, let's get Joel first. Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. Follow me in the book. And it shall come to pass afterward. Yeah. That I will pour out, out of my spirit upon all flesh. And. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Old fellows going to dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Young men going to see visions. And also upon the servants and, and upon, upon the, the handmaids. handmaids. In those days in will those I pour days out, will I pull out my spirit. In those days. In, in those, those days. days. In those days. In those days. In those days. I will pour out of my what spirit. In those days, that means those days didn't come yet. That's, That's right. right. So if it says that if it let you know those days didn't come yet, mm -hmm. why are you referring me to Deborah? That's right. Mm. That's right. That's right. That's right. Didn't think of that, did you? <laughs> That's right. Too early, too early. Why are you referring me to Deborah? That's you too right. early. Right. It says in, in those, those days. days. Those Deborah days. was before That's those right. days. That's right. Mm -hmm. I want to help to open your That's eyes right. and give you some eye size if we can. Go ahead, man. All right, son, give me Acts of the Apostasy where it was fulfilled. 14. Acts, Acts chapter two and, two and verse fourteen. Listen. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, said what? Lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you. What I want and, you to know, and hearken to my word. That these are not drunken as ye suppose. Glory to God. Seeing his you see, you hour. see, the Holy Ghost fell. Right. That which so many of you fellas said, don't they don't it is no more Holy Ghost speaking in time. My Lord, I believe it. There's so many jack legs, as the old school preachers used to call them. That's right, that's jack right. leg fellas on television, radio, and YouTube. They ain't now speaking in tongues. You're not in the church. Amen. You're not in the church. Not in the church. Right. My God, when you have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, you got to speak in tongues. That's right. That's right. And all of that, that, that's proof that God Almighty is in you. That's right. Listen at this. For these are not drunken as ye suppose. But what? Seeing is but the third hour of the day. But what's going on with them? But this is that. Holy. This is it. This is it. Yeah, this Viewer. Is it. Radio listener. Mm -hmm. You out here that's talking about Joel's talking about the uprising of women preachers? That's right. No. No, no. The apostle Peter referred back to Joel. Right. But this. This. Is that. You see, they thought they were drunk. Right. 
I hear we every man speaking our tongue wherein we was born. That's right. What was it? The wonderful works of God. That's right. Hmm? God That's come right. along and let these folks speak in a language that they never spoke before, right. and then let all the other ones be able to familiarize themselves with it. That's right. And it was the wonderful work of God because that language they never spoke before. That's right. Huh? It, was the, it was the work of God. Work of God. That's right. Now, and if that was the work of God, and the folks thought that they were drunk, drunk. Peter made a reference and said, "Look, these are not drunk like you think." Seeing it's but the third hour of the day. It's too early to get wasted. But this, that's, that's right. <laughs> huh? that's right. It's too early for these folks that's to get right. wasted. That's right. What is it? But this is that. This is that. Which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And what was it? And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God. That I will make all the women preachers. I will pour out of my spirit upon all No, flesh. no, no, no. Come on now, Williams. Amen. You got glasses, can't you see? I will. <laughs> and it shall come to pass in the I last day. I will make them all women preachers. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Everyone woman that said God and called sin under preach the gospel, she's a liar. She liar. liar hey, miss. Liar. You hear me? Liar. I know you upset. I got one email in there. Boy, she, this woman laid me out. Yeah. One woman called me a male chauvinistic pig. <laughs> well, <laughs> oinky the oinky you too. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Amen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah. Every church organization, PAW, mm -hmm. That's right. Pentecostal assemblies of the world, you are right, you of the world. Of the world. Amen. You PC, go ahead, brother. You so-called apostolic organizations mm -hmm. that got women bishops, mm -hmm. women assistant pastors. Amen. Only a weak, spineless man right. was sitting under a woman preacher. That's right. Spineless. Now, if you out there, fella, claiming you a bishop mm -hmm. or an elder mm -hmm. or a deacon, and been ordained by a woman, mm -hmm. your license is no good. No good. That's right. That's no good. good. Am I right, men? Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. Hoorah! Hoorah! <laughs> That's right. Amen. This is not male chauvinism. No, no. Male chauvinistic. This is scripture. Scriptures. You don't have a woman bishop, mm -hmm. a woman evangelist, mm -hmm. a woman assistant pastor, mm -hmm. a woman pastor. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the book. I have a few things against thee. That's right. Let's finish up the letter. Come on, give me some more. Mm -hmm. Uh, this person is still trying to justify women preachers. She says uh, in Romans chapter 16. Let's, get, let's pick up everything she's pitched at us. Okay. We're Romans, still at the batter's mound. Batter's mound. Yeah. Hmm? Romans chapter 16. I ain't got She's trying to pick some hardballs. Yeah. Romans 16. Romans she thinks it's hardball. That's right. That's right. But this ain't nothing but softball to us. Softball. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I'm I'm right. Come on, son. Let's have it. Romans, Romans chapter 16, verse 1. Paul recommended Phoebe. As one who taught the word, being a succor of many. He did not. No, he he did not recommend Phoebe, no, the no, one that didn't. taught the word. No, no, he no. did not. No, no. Did not do this. All right, read that. And then after that, give me Revelation chapter 22, begin at verse 18. Amen. I want to show them what they've done. That's Amen. right. All right, read that. Romans chapter 16, verses 1 and 2. What is it? I commend unto you, Phoebe, our sister. I commend unto you, Phoebe, our evangelist. Our sister. Our bishop. Our sister. Our pastor. Our sister. Our assistant pastor. Our sister. I commend unto you, Phoebe. Our sister. Our sister. Which is a servant of the church. No, is a teacher in the church. Which is a servant of the church. Sir, a bishop in the church. A servant of the church. A pastor in the church. A servant of the church. An evangelist in the church. A servant of the church. I held in the church. A servant of the church. You liar. That's right. He's a liar. That's right. Now, you said in your letter that Paul said, she was a teacher. Mm -hmm. Phoebe, as one who taught as the word. As one that taught the word. It didn't say that. No, it didn't. Now, say now that. let me show you what you've done. Revelation 22 and verse 18. What? Well, I testify unto every man. Oh, glory to God. That That's heareth right. the words of the prophecy of this book. If what? If any man shall add. That's what you've done. Add. Oh, you're in trouble. Add. You're in trouble. Add. You're in trouble now. Oh, you're in trouble. Oh, what if God didn't say she taught. No. No. You added that in there. You stuck that in there. That's, That's right. right. All of you that got women bishops, women elders, women evangelists, and all, you stuck that in there. That's right. Deaconess, you stuck that garbage in there. That's, That's right. right. Junior bishop, diocese bishop, you stuck That's that trash right. in there. That's right. That's right. If any man shall District add, elder, you stuck that yeah. trash in there. Amen. Deaconess. That's right. That's right. That's right. Don't need no man to ordain me. You stuck that yeah. trash in there. That's, That's right. right. Any man shall add unto these Any things. Any man shall add unto these things. God shall add unto him. God shall add unto him. The plagues that are written in See, this book. See, there's plagues written for folks like you. That's right. That's right. 
And if any man, and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, what God said He will do, God shall take away His part out of the book of life. And what else? And out of the holy city. Now that means if you are written to go in the holy city, you start taking stuff away, He's gonna remove your name. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Even if you was on your way into the kingdom, and all of a sudden you start taking stuff out the book, right. no more the kingdom for you. No more. You take stuff out the book, he takes you out. That's, That's right. right. In other words, you'll reap what you sow. That's right. That's right. God now, shout. go ahead and jerk and shout and speak in tongue. You tell focus no more apostle now, you, out, you ain't going to the kingdom. You tell them women can preach, you ain't going to the kingdom. You tell them you ain't got to be ordained by an apostle, you ain't going to the kingdom. God right. shall take away his part. God take away your part. Out of the book of life. This is after you've been baptized and claim you got the Holy Ghost. Right. You take something out of the book, you ain't going in the kingdom. No, you won't. That's right. God shall take away his part. Oh, the, the one cup is wrong, you ain't going in the kingdom. Going. That's right. Take away. You're taking away. Take away. Huh? God shall take away his part. You're taking away. Out of the book of life. And out of the holy city. Go ahead, God, now go ahead and preach. Go ahead, preach. hypocrite. Do what you want. Go ahead. I ain't God, but this is script. This is the word of God here is designed to block you from earth into heaven. That's, That's right. right. Get over the air, yell, scream, and holler. Talk as much as you please, but when it's done, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. You coming out. That's right. Huh? That's, That's, right. That's right. You coming out. That's right. Even with the new birth, you coming out. That's right. Glory to God. God shall take Amen. away his God part. Shall, hallelujah. Out of the book of God life. shall take away his part of the book of life. And, and, and out of the holy city. He's going to take you from the holy city. And, and from the things which are written in this book. Anything that's written in the book that will get you in the kingdom. You won't qualify for it. Because you're trying to. Old Testament says don't add and don't diminish. Don't diminish. That's right. When you diminish a thing, you try to dwindle it down. Right. Want to small, make it small. That's right. Unnecessary. That's right. That's right, sir. Glory to God. All right, Dan, come on. And the Lord said unto Moses. All right, wait a minute, Dan. Let's get what the Lord said. In Deuteronomy 32 and verse 32. No, the Lord talks. You got to wait. <laughs> All right, Williams, come on. And the Lord said unto Moses. The Lord said to Moses. Whosoever has sinned against me. Whoever sinned against me. Him will I blot out of my book. Blot out. To be blot out the book, he had to write you in there. That's right. That's right. That's right. Him that sin against me. Him will I blot out of my book. You that are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and do have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, but denounce anything Amen. that Amen. the apostle said. That's right. You may have been in the book. That's right. But God is throwing you out. Him will I blot out of my book. You that now justified the boss. You're out the book. Out of my book. Blood out of my book. Out. No speaking in tongues. Blood out of my Blood book. Out. Throw you out the book. That's right. The moment you marry your second wife, Blood. out the book. Out of my book. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening? Go ahead. Now go to church. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Go to church. That's right. Have all the worship and praise you want. Right. Every last one of you fellas that have switched up to divorce. Amen. You once was in the book. That's right. But now, blot out. God said, blot out. out of my book. Whosoever had sinned against me. Whosoever had sinned against me. My God, when you bring a teaching that contradicts the book, you sin against God. That's right. If an angel come from heaven. Yes, yeah, so. And bring any other gospel. That's right. That's different from what we preach. Amen. Let the angels be a curse. Yeah, curse. As I said before. That's right. So stand now again. Go ahead. If any man, Amen. you bring something different. That's right. Cursed. Curse. That's right. You may have been in the book one time. That's right. But no more. Whosoever had sent you are out. Give my blood out of my book. Blood out of my book. To my viewers Amen. that follow these men Go ahead. that try to corrupt the word, right. 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 leave them. Leave them. That's right. Run, run. Leave them. Come out from among them. I don't care if it's your daddy. Leave them. Come out. If it's your husband, leave them. That's right. If it's your uncle, leave them. That's right. Leave them. If it's your brother, leave them. That's right. That's right. Who is my brother? Sister and brother. But he that do the will of my father which is in heaven. That's right. 
See, when the scriptures tells us, don't keep company That's right. with fornicators. That's not just natural. That's right. That is not just natural. It says don't eat with them. That is not just natural. For a false prophet commits fornication because he spilled unlawful seed to impregnate a people with the unlawful gospel. It says have no fellowship. You fellas have these fake fellowship service. That's right. That's and the right. word says, have to keep no company. fellowship. That's right. Have no fellowship. fellowship. What fellowship have light with darkness? See, when you God's people, mm -hmm. Come on, man. you don't participate in fake fellowship. No, no you don't. No, I don't care if your friend have it. Right, God say, have none. Have no fellowship. No fellowship. None. I don't care if no daddy have it. Right. God said, have not. No fellowship. Pull away, sir. Pull away. Anytime a man believes you can live together not married, he should not be preaching in God's house. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And you call something like that, my brother. Brother. Oh, my Lord. God says, have no fellowship. Have no fellowship. For what fellowship? Listen at this. In 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 14, Amen. what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? That's what I like to know. That's right. I don't know why you're going to call an unbeliever your close friend. That's right. How are you going to mix it? Your close friend? That's right. Your close friend? He that's a friend in the world is an enemy of God. That's right. That's right. God calls for separation. separation. What fellowship has righteousness what with unrighteousness? What fellowship have a right? See, some of you call me dogmatic. Call me what you want. What you will. I'm sticking to what the book says. That's right. You are catering to your feelings. That's right. I'm catering to God. That's right. That's the difference. That's the difference. That's the difference. Amen. That's right. Listen. What fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? What fellowship have right with wrong? That's right. And what communion has light with darkness? You mean to tell me you believe you can divorce? Why would I want to hear you preach? That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. You make it clear. Oh, we ain't got to speak in tongue. Why are you in the pulpit? That's why right. you in there? That's right. Why in the world, why would I allow the believers listen to listen. someone that makes it clear we don't got to speak in tongue? Watch, right. if I love you, I won't allow that junk to come in God's church. That's right. That's right. How can two walk together? Except they be agreed. Except they agree. That's right. Nobody wrong with drunks unless you love liquor. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 I walk with you. What, com what communion has light with darkness? What communion? Amen. Right. Have light with darkness. With dar and what concord? What concord? Has Christ with have Belial? Christ with Baal? Or what part has what he that believed? What part have he that, that believed, believed with an infidel? With the unbeliever? And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? Do you hear this? What agreement? You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. You can't mix it. And this is what got me barking. That's it. Preachers are trying to mix it and make it work. Right. And trying to convince the people it works. No, it don't, viewer. Oh, no. It doesn't work. You can pair your pastor, your husband, your brother, That's right. your daddy, your slap happy grandpappy, Amen. your uncle. Mm -hmm. Compare them with the truth of God's word. That's right. Your father-in-law. That's right. That's right. Your son-in-law. Son your nephew. Amen. Compare them. That's it. Don't get caught up in them. No. Compare them. Amen. That's it. That's the only thing that interests us. We want to compare. Yes, the word of God teaches that. That's right. You got to compare. You just don't run after anything because they say, uh, we believe the Bible. Yeah. No. Oh, no. Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God. He, he, he fills this program up on his website and points the people to the truth of God's message.